Welcome back, CSE 235 class, to part two of EX5 tip calc. And we just got started and we're working on our JavaScript. And what we did so far was just so tip percent is going to be whatever the tip percent ID value is. And again, it's starting off default by 15, but now it's going to be able to change because we're going to make two functions one that goes down and one that goes up to change this value so that it can be variable and you can use different tip amounts. And you don't just have to choose 10, 15, or 20, or something like that. You could choose whatever your tip is, kind of like those little sliders that you'll see in Applebee's and Chili's and places like that. So we're going to make two functions right now. Now that we have our one variable, that's all we need is this variable so far. We're going to create a function. And I'll use the function keyword. And I'll call my first function go down because we're doing go down and I'll put my parentheses and I don't need a semicolon I need two curly brackets and that's going to be my first function for going down so when we click this button it's going to make this number go down so we're basically going to say uh, tip percent equals tip percent and this should be a minus here or an underscore and minus one and I'll put a semicolon so whatever value we have for tip percent should now be subtracted. It's subtracting one from itself. That's really what this does. And there's shortcuts to do this, but this kind of makes more sense when we first do it like this. So it's basically taking the variable that we have as tip percent and subtracting it one from it. So that's all that's going to do. But then we also want it to display here. It's not displaying. It's just taking the number down. It's not displaying anything in this area. So we're also going to have to we could take this same statement up here because this was a statement that displays something. We'll copy it and we'll put it in here. And it's going to be in the tip percent area, the same area. And the value is now going to be where initially it was 15. Now it's going to be tip percent. It's going to be whatever tip percent ends up being. So I'm going to put tip percent in here. And now tip percent is going to display whatever the tip percent is now, which could be what it was, the value 15 as it started, and then it could go minus or it could go up or it could stay there. So I'm going to display that right now. And let's just try out this one before we go any further. I'm going to go into my HTML and in my first button, which is the less than button, which is this one here, I'm going to do, I'm going to put a space after the word button and put on click and then equals. You don't need a space in there. And in quotes, I'm going to put the function, which is go down, is the function. And we have to put our parentheses in there, but we don't need a semicolon or anything. Just like that is fine. And I'll move this back up. And we could put a semicolon down here to, after the function if we want. And I'll save this. And let's see if this works. And that goes down. If we do this, nothing happens because that button doesn't work yet. So this goes down, and that's good. So that's working. So our first function is working. So now we know we can copy this. And we'll copy this function right after the first one. And call this one go up, because that makes sense. And then this is going to be a plus one. So it'll make that value go up. And it'll still display in that area. So everything else will be the same. And all that we have to do is go into our HTML and make sure that we have an on-click event. And we could even copy this whole event here right up to the following quote here and copy it and put it inside this button for the greater than and just make sure everything's okay except it's not going to be go down it's going to be go up and hit the go up and that's not working it's going 15 1 1 1 and if I go down it's going down 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 so something's wrong there it's kind of adding to it and let's just reset it just to make sure everything's okay here. And if I go down, that one's working. And if I go up, now it's working. But let's reset that again. Something was wrong there. Let's just make sure if I go up, oh, it's adding to that like that. So it's adding, it's just adding strings. So it's the go up is adding strings. So let's make sure we have everything okay here first. Tip percent equals plus one. Tip percent equals value equals tip percent. So that's working, but the subtraction isn't working. And the reason that is, actually, th this kind of makes sense. And, I, and I'm glad this kind of happened now because I wasn't sure when we'd bring it up. 
but when you hit minus you can only subtract uh, numbers but when you add things you can actually add strings together you could put words you could string words together and make sentences and when it's seeing the plus here it's not reading it as it's reading it as uh, two separate strings so here's something we're gonna do here and I think we could maybe do this I'm not sure where that let me see if we could do it here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure the tip percent is being read as a number and we're gonna use something called parse float so let me see if I could do it here I'm gonna do tip percent right after we default we first declared it or in initialized it we initialized it and declared it and gave it a value but I'm gonna say tip percent equals and I'm gonna say parse float and in parentheses I'm gonna say tip percent because what I'm guessing is happening here whenever you see numbers adding like that it means they're they're kind of treated as strings even though they're numbers they're they're just kind of adding 15 and 1 makes 15 and a 1 after it and let me put a semicolon here and let me see if that keeps it as a number so when we use it here it treats it as a number so let me just save that and let me kind of refresh it and let me try that this one because this was the issue going up and now it's going up to 16 17 18 19 so that's fine and now it's going down so we just kind of averted a problem there and it's good we tested it going up and, and it's good we, we did it one at a time because with this plus here it was treating it as a string as opposed to doing this and you know that would give us problems later on and, and sometimes I kind of let these problems happen as we go but it's good it happened now and because that'll help us and we're going to use this thing called parse float that'll make sure we transfer anything any values that are in text fields seem to get translated as text now the only reason this didn't get translated as text because we we're using a minus and it was kind of treating it as a number but the minute we added a plus it wasn't sure it was a number and it was just kind of throwing it as string so and we could use something called console log and we could kind of look at our variables and see if they're being read as a as a uh, as a string or a number but I think we're okay now since those numbers are going up and down I think we're good and this seemed to work this seemed to fix it so we're now we're kind of guaranteed that the tip percent is a number moving on so that's that's good um, so so moving on for our other functions we're kind of in good shape and what we're gonna do next is kind of take this number and we're gonna have to get a number from here and multiply it by whatever percent this is to get a tip amount so if this is a hundred and this is 17 whatever it may be we need to do the percentage and figure out what this number is here and the tip amount should be you know whatever whatever percentage of that is so we'll kind of work on that next so let me take a break here with part two and then we'll move on to part three